people and I'm back cooking again and today I'm doing chicken I think it's jaw joints and waffles I just want to tell you there is some stupid little person who thinks that putting my name and putting things like I am coming to your house to do you sexual favours or nasty things. If there's anything put nasty, it isn't me. It's the stupid person who thinks that she's cares good cooking because she hasn't got a life. Right, you haven't seen the chicken go in, but I've put the chicken in. So now I've put some of that fry light stuff thingy, whatever you call it. Fry light, is it? Uh, yeah. And I'm going to put some waffles in the uh, frying pan. Watch them break up, I'll just pull them out. Oh, well, they've stayed in pieces. Yeah, well, the night is young before they turn like that roadkill. And I'm putting four in. I'm touch it, shakes. Too much t concentration, that's what it is. Alright, I think that might be okay. And I'm going to give them. I don't know, a few minutes till they start sizzling the way, then I'm going to turn them over. Right, I've put the door joints or whatever you call them anyways. All it is is technically it's uh, chicken in breadcrumbs, that's all it is, but uh, they've got a special name. So um, I've just put them in, as you can probably not see, you can now, uh, the waffle. <laughs> Ow, the pit is in it. As you can see, the waffles are done, and now I am just, well, just, um, Ziggy, stop it. Now you may be wondering what I shouted to Ziggy stop for, what he was doing. He was chlorine on the set, chlor chlorine the settee, and I don't, uh, I don't want him to scratch it with his nails. Product, but we had the chicken because I put the chicken in a bit too late, so my fault. I Obviously, my son can't taste the chicken because it's cooking, and I don't want to give him salmonella or salmonella, whatever it is, anyway. I don't want to give it in. Salmonella poison. And E. coli. And he's, he's, he's tasted chicken before, and he's tasted waffles before, so now he's going to try one of these George Johns, whatever they call them, I don't know. And now my son's going to do the taste test. Come on, Leah. Get your mouth around that. <laughs> Get out. I'll resist. I'll not say anything. I'm not... <clears throat> <laughs> I just saw your face like that. I am just watching you. I mean, do the taste test. <sighs> Put your eye out that fork. <laughs> both jump, right? Are they done? Yes. Good. Well, I can't describe what it tastes like. Why? Because I've never tasted it before. I just told you it's chicken and breadcrumbs. Yes, but it doesn't taste like chicken and breadcrumbs. Don't taste it. It tastes as, um, I know this is going to sound weird, but it tastes nicer than chicken and breadcrumbs. Alright, you can have them in the future then. That's chicken in bedrooms for you. Big thumbs up. Right, hope that gives you a rough idea how to make chicken, go joints or joints or whatever you want to call them, I don't care. And waffles. If you if you like what you see, please click there. Please keep viewing me. If you want to give me a big old thumbs up, that would be much appreciated. And if you want to leave a comment, please feel free. And if you haven't already subscribed to me, please, the more the merrier. And I just want to say, like again, don't listen to any bad comment from Kay's Good Cooking. It's not me. Okay, thank you. Bye.